yeah. I guess um, <clears throat> kind of speaking about boldness and, mm-hmm. you know, like you mentioned, the apostles and, and your friend that you also mentioned, um, mm-hmm. as, as a believer, you know, as a musician, knowing that your music is heard by multiple people, mm-hmm. um, I think, I think I want to say it was Ravi Zacharias who said that um, musicians are philosophers of our days. Right. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah. So good. Oh, yeah. That's really Great. good. Yeah. yeah. Just the <laughs> message that they bar lifted. Yeah. Right. <laughs> was uh, that the message. Was that gateway. I'm not this? sure. It probably was. Okay. Oh, it probably was. Um, but he was talking about how like the message that they relay. Because um, mm. like you ever just listen to song and you just your behavior just changes. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And that's where that Legit. comes from. Yeah. So so I guess just a follow up question to that mm-hmm. in terms of boldness. Um, how do you just keep the weight of it all? You know, mm-hmm. being mindful of, hey, um, the message that I'm relying, you know, across my music, my art, whether it's on YouTube or just pictures and, and different things like that, mm-hmm. um, the weight of all that, you know, to really impact the people that are really listening to you, the mm-hmm. people that the Lord has given you a sphere to really influence. Yeah. Uh, how do you really deal with the weight of the, all that? Yeah, just like the weight of... Are you saying like the weight of like having to feel like I have to always be kind of preachy? Oh, um, not, not so much preachy, but that. living a life that people can see and say. Mm-hmm. So earlier you mentioned um, tangible Jesus, mm-hmm. like living a life like yeah. that to where people can really get to experience him. Because, uh, you know, we've all heard you may be the only Bible yeah. that somebody reads. Somebody reads, living yeah. Living that kind of lifestyle. Heck yeah. 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 Um, yeah, bro. I mean, I uh, well, we're, we were in church this week. For the week of prayer and one of the messages was about like jesus having compassion Mm. for people and it really hit home with me because like a lot of the reasons just like why i said i'm so open and i want to see people i want people to know about this tangible jesus is because the lord like gives me a burden like whenever i pray like it it hurts me to know that like people are out there lost and don't know my jesus like they Mm. don't know who god is um so, yeah, for me, just dealing with the weight, I mean, of course, it's giving it back to the Lord because yeah. we can't save people, but we can do yeah, something. For sure. yeah. Um, and so, man, it's just like everything flowing, like not out of, like everything just, everything like flowing just out of a, of what the Lord lays on your heart and for like sure. that burden for souls, I guess, because... Yeah, it's it, it it can be taxing to be like, man, I got to save souls. I got to do all this yeah, work yeah. for the kingdom. Yeah. But when you're like, when your heart is close to Jesus, it's like your desires change, man. Mm. Like my music started changing. Like I just didn't have, a, I just wanted to speak about things that would, would give life. And it wasn't like yeah. it was forced or anything like that. Yeah. It was just, it was just real, man. And, 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 and like in the world, like people just... Like I said, like I just keep talking about it, but people want something real. Like I think mm. why people like artists like J. Cole and stuff like that is because, you know, he speaks on real topics. For sure. Um so yeah, it's just I think it's just having like compassion for people. Mm-hmm. Um, at least I would say. And that's just something I'm I'm always growing in. Cause yeah. like, man, Jesus, like in when we were talking about in church, Jesus, he right, like Jesus was trying to go pray because John the Baptist, like Jesus' cousin, he just mm. died. Mm. But Jesus like was trying to go pray, but then he seen a multitude and had compassion on yeah. him. Like, bro, like your cousin <laughs> died, or someone's close to you yeah. that just died, but you have this compassion towards a people that God has called you to. Yeah. Like that's godly. Like that's mm. you know, that a human can't do. Like if my mom died and someone was like, Yeah, now go up there and minister, I'd be like, Forget those people. Yeah, like, what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> be like, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna like yeah, yeah. I need to be alone and just yeah. So it, I, I, that that compassion, I think, just has to come from God. Mm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so that's good. good.